Good morning. Um, today is Saturday, second of November, and I have a client who I have to go do makeup for. Um, to bottom line, I just wanted to do a come with me video or a day in the life of makeup artist video. Like for makeup artists, you don't have the same day. You can't even predict what is going to happen. You no, know, but I wanted to show you what and what and what we do when we go for makeup jobs. Just, just. Like the behind the scenes, you can see how life of makeup artist is not usually as glamorous as you think. Sometimes it's ethic, it's stressful. Uh, you know, just wanted to see, you to see that. Um, so this is um, nine o'clock, and that's the time for my first bride. It's a pre-wedding shoot. I don't know if she's gonna allow me film. If she allows me film, fine. If not, I will just you know, show you the setup and then I wrap it up. The location is in Amu. Um, going to I'm going to show you um, where we are and then the scenery and everything, so you can just see for yourself. Um, so I'm wearing sunglasses because I have I wasn't able to do my get my makeup done. So at least I look a bit more fashionable and a bit more presentable with the sunglasses. And that's why I just so hide that I couldn't get my makeup done. And you know, I'm not eating by the way. Uh, most times when I wake up in the morning, I'm not a morning breakfast person. So I was always like to wait till like afternoon thereabouts so I can eat and then you know. But I, I, when I eat in the morning, I, it slows me down. So I rather just get the work done and you know. So um, I'll carry you and then show you what we have. This is my makeup brushes that I'm using. They are all clean, and I always carry a brush cleaner in between work to clean. I guess it's my.
try to make sure that they cover my bum so that when I'm bending to tie gilly or anything I'm not giving up any film and I look decent just decent so I'm not showing any if you notice no cleavage no nothing I'm well covered like just decent you know front covered back covered um, use body spray use perfumes smell nice and your breath mouth what chewing gum whatever works for you just make sure you smell that because you're going to be in the bright private space you're talking to her you're, you know so you need to smell nice i actually smell very nice i use um perfumes body spray and um body oil you know i just discovered some body oil i got them when i traveled but fantastic it works for me um so i have my wristwatch on to check the time so i can time myself and i got these accessories from Lumi king it's just a regular wristband then my hearing from I said my hair into my sister by slush uh, like you can see I have no makeup on but I have clear skin like I try to look decent my hair is brushed to the back packed neatly you know so I'm not looking like a mess so basically so that's it me and, and, and all I need for this you just make number comfortable very comfortable <laughs> very very comfortable so I'm going to prepare myself for the next outfit. You know, they're changing to something else. So I'm going to prepare myself for the next outfit and, you know, take it from there. So I'll show you how I clean up in between clients. Let's go. So this is the second outfit. Uh, so this is my workstation. my workstation I always always like to have my stuff cleaned out looking nice and tidy so you never find me without my brush cleaner and I also use as my sanitizer so this is what I have this is the BEN pouch this is my own product this is my pouch you know this is very strong I've been using this for a while and what I do is instead of me going around my makeup box I don't like to work with the box so everybody already know in Lagos that people that carry carry around boxes are makeup artists so I like to keep my gig to myself, so I just put everything in this bag, which is also a BN bag, by the way. I made these bags myself. Let me see. So that's it. So this is also my product. So, but the bag, the bag is very strong, and you can actually wipe down or wash. You know, so that's why I like to just put everything neatly in a bag, and you not even know that I'm a makeup artist. You know, so I like my privacy. So let's get into it. So first thing first, I I have my powders are in. Like for this particular um client of mine she's already told me what she wanted she said oh i want a natural look i don't want too much makeup uh, you know so i already know what to pack so i just packed you know powders in that range because i have another client that i'm working on later on today so i don't want to go back home and pack and pack so i just packed 
um, for her as well. So there's two extreme people. The other client that I have is really light, so that's why you find me with light shade of power. This shade of Sephora, this is like the dark shade. Then I have the really light one, which is this one, and then this one. So that's how I pack. So I like to use um, mineralized skin finish, which is Mac mineralized skin finish. I have the one I used for her was dark deepest. You know, I have this and I have the Sephora powder. Um, so the thing is, these two are almost the same. Like the finish they give. Look at this and then look at this. The finish they give. They are not flat. They have a bit of um, shine to it. So this is Mac Mineralized Skin Finish. This is what it looks like. And then this is Sephora powder. This is what it looks like. So they look so alike. Like the finish they give is so similar. I like that skin finish, you know, glowy. I don't like it when it's matte down powdery powdery so this one just gives a matte mat down powdery powdery finish so i sometimes use this as a base like for this client just use it a little bit and then i finished up with these powders because i wanted that egg like skin finish so this is what i have in my kit i get for this particular client guys i have more than this but i always like i said i always pack according to preference and then the client i'm working on so these are my powder rubber oil blotting Press powder. I've had this for a while. In fact, <laughs> it has oh no, I have to be very careful so that it doesn't come up. I had this for a while. Then I also go around with this is my blush for MAC. Um it's a dual. So I use the highlighter side then you know this especially for the light skin person I'm going to just contour slightly. Um then I have my blush. Um this is I can't remember where I got this from. Okay, so but I have that and I have this. Uh, this is from black hawk um then i have uh, yeah this foundation is fantastic i really like it elf I like this foundation this is a fair a drugstore foundation affordable but the finish it gives is very very good so i'm definitely going to invest in this foundation because i like the finish it gives it gives like a very smooth skin finish i got this from paris purple here in nigeria really yeah instagram and below and i love i love i love I, I don't like it when it's matte matte dry dry like i said so this is so this is the other foundation that i use i like the coverage of this and then i like the finish it gives as well then this is my favorite now especially for dark skin people because it's kind of like it just gives them their red on that if you know i am very very black this is um darker very dark darker so and then i have i have it in four different shades i think then i have it in um lagos but this coverage is beautiful but that's what i use for the client today and our skin looks flawless the coverage is so beautiful then this is um ellis clear i'm going to use this for the next look um then let me move on i think i have some other things here um lufta glue i'm going to use pigment for the next client i have a lot of new lipstick label this is zaron zaron um so I, like, I stock zaron lips lip is a lot i like that this is uh mac this is one i just got and uh, this shade is a famous ruby ah! so i just got this and i wanted to use it in my kit so um i'm looking at uni for the other client that i have um so because she's fair she's light skin and then you want to go all glam so that's that for that and then i have lip glosses um then i have this my new favorite lip gloss from ellis claire so the good thing about the, what i like about this is because it's not just your regular clay gloss it has sparkly gum touch to it like and i like the finish you know it just stays on the lip then this also ah uh, cage i don't know if she still makes them but this is beautiful for um, popping the lip like just in between just give that natural finish this is what i use for the client that i used today i use them um, this black cup and uh, this is nude um, let me show you guys so this is a nude like skin nude and then i used it with um the cage um this two this is the combination i used for the client that i worked on just now this is the two combination black up and um so yeah. then uh let's go to this part of it so i have this caroline um fixing spray this is the real shade like this spray like um it's not, it not it doesn't have water it, i think it's hair so it just seals the makeup like you, 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 know, you, you don't even understand like this gives me like this is what i cannot do without i love it especially if you want makeup to stay on for a long time this is perfect this is just perfect i'm not even hyping it then this model in the bottle too is beautiful it's cold like you don't even, i don't know if they still make it i've had this for a long time because i always stock i buy like i don't buy one or two i buy a lot and i keep and then i use it. especially my favorite products because 
you just wake up one morning and they discontinue like they discontinue this one i almost cried so this one i'm just my saying i like the sale i like the finish so this one has been discontinued this is the bronzer that i love this man this shit is the real deal um okay so this is the brush cleaner so in between clients like now you I, i'm definitely going to show you how i clean my brushes in between so i don't have dressing brushes as soon as i finish with this client i'm working on the next client i cannot i can only clean up and sanitize my product and then you know nobody's breaking out everybody's happy no pimples no nothing so um this is um maybelline you know so i mix my product i use iron um, drugstore you know, whatever comes whatever works for me i'm not a um drugstore person or iron person i just need products that work in my kit and then they give me good results this single gel liner is perfect 77 so i use it a lot when i swell in waterline i just want that black to stay black even when i buy my pencils i still buy that last time to say that i don't have what happens i have um i have this beauty line by Didi. i have yanga beauty i have a shade crown i have all sort of pencils but i still find myself coming back to this bit pencil especially the number 18 because it just gives me that finish that i just like you know I just, you just have that thing about you know, i just like it Hello, this is my last look. Um, I'm done. Thank you for the makeup. I look so good. Thank you. Is it yourself that face? <laughs> she by herself. Tell herself that, oh, I look so beautiful. That's the makeup, guys. And we did not touch the eyes, though. remember? That's the belief. Mm. Can you touch so we can see your joy? Yeah. That's my joy.
So I had to, you know, pull some storm to get there to make sure that I, I was able to do both. But um, I'm back home now and it's really late. Um, but it's all good. Um, so let me know if you know what's a maximum booking you can take a day. Makeup artist, hairstylist, you know, how do you shuttle? Do you have special powers? How do you beat traffic? How do you? I didn't even drive to the other one because I didn't want to now, you know, get stuck in traffic and I didn't want to, you know, the law of passing one way, you know, I just didn't want to get frustrated, so I just said, okay, no, let me find my way there, you know, Uber and all that, so just let me know how you move around there, you you have double appointments, you double bookings, how do you do it, how do you cope, um, I guess I'm getting old, so I no longer can, you know, meet up with this hectic go here and there, kind of, um, so, but in the end of it, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please kindly like, subscribe, and share, and drop a comment. I would love to hear from you. Turn on your notification bell so that anytime I paste the video, you can actually see them. Bye till I come your way again. Bye. Love you.